Hi, I'm Jason, and I want to speak to you today about torsion axles. Over the last few years, our team has seen an increased demand in torsion axles. So, a year or so ago, we kicked off a research project on these. Looking around, we found the origin of this technology is really in the United States, and so we went for a visit to HSI Duratec in Iowa. Interestingly, these are very simple, which in turn hides some key complexities. Of these, key elements would be the torque arms being forged, and then pressed together to produce an accurate and straight fit. And the rubber cords themselves, being of course the spring, are critical to the operation. Additionally, the outer tube. Ours is a special tube imported from the United States which has a particular corner radius. You can't get this tube from anywhere else. Of course these axles can fit a number of applications including caravans, boat trailers, plant trailers and many many more. They can be fitted with a range of different brakes and hubs. Let's dive into the manufacturing process. We would press together the Z-bar assembly, which is the stub axle and the inner bar, onto the forged drop arm. After that, we would weld together the main tube assembly with the required brackets to the required centers. And then everything gets coated in either paint or galb as required. After that is a critical part of the process where we put the two together with a special freezing process. The only way to assemble these properly is to compress the cords into the required shape for assembly and freeze them in that shape. Once they're frozen, we have a small window of opportunity to slide all the parts together. and the assembly of the suspension component is all done. After that, we fit the hubs and the brakes and with the final check off, the axle is more or less ready to go. Options on these axles include the hub face length and the bracket positions. This allows the axle to be adjusted to fit different width trailers and chassis sizes. The hub variants available for these axles include brakes, a 12 inch drum and either a Dexter or Uni hub, disc brakes, three ton uni hub with a Patriot caliper, and of course unbrake. And currently we are testing derating options for those trailers that require slightly less than the two and a half ton, so there's the correct spring rate for your trailer. Of course there's further research and development going on for different brake options and a lighter duty axle.